Hello everyone, I am Christopher and due to popular demand, I'm going to teach you guys how to install Android on your Nintendo Switch. For this tutorial, I'm going to assume your Nintendo Switch is already modded. If not, you could click the link in my description box down below and it'll take you to a video on where I teach you how to install mods on your Nintendo Switch. Now that our Nintendo Switch is modded, let's get started with this tutorial. Like always, I'll have direct links to the downloads in the description box down below. Okay, so we're gonna go to switch root and we're gonna scroll down to steps. We're gonna go to step one dot C and it's gonna say to download the latest zip here. So we're gonna click here and it's gonna take us to the separate tab. We're gonna be in the Android 10 section and we're gonna wanna scroll down and look for Icosa dash tab and we're gonna download the zip file. So we're gonna click it and it should start our download. Next, we're gonna go to open gaps and we're gonna download ARM64 version 10.0 and we're gonna download the Pico version. Once you select those, press download. Once you select download, it'll take you to another link and your download should begin. Okay, so now we can close the internet. Now we can open up our SD card. Now this next step is completely optional. If you already have an SD card with mods installed on it and an Emu MMC, you're more than likely going to want to back those up so you don't lose them during this process. There's multiple ways you could back up your SD card using Hakate, or you can manually eject your SD card and put it into your computer. And you can manually drag and drop your files from your SD card into a folder on your desktop, which I find a lot faster. So with that being said, let's create a new folder and you can name it whatever you want. In my case, I'm going to name it Switch Mods, and I'm just going to highlight everything in my SD card and drag it into this folder. Now, as you can see, all my mods are backed up. So if anything were to go wrong during this installation, we could restore our files back onto our SD card without losing anything. All right, now we can eject our SD card and put it back into our Nintendo Switch. Now that we're booted into Akate, we want to make sure we have both of our Joy-Cons connected to our Switch. They need to be connected because we need to dump our Joy-Con data to work on Android OS. At the bottom left, you'll see NIC settings. We're going to go ahead and select that. And at the top right, you can see an option for dump Joy-Con Bluetooth. We're going to go ahead and select that and it'll tell us it's dumping to the SD card. Once that's finished, we can press OK. And now we can hit close at the top right. This should bring us back to the home menu of Hakate. And now we will select tools on the top middle and select partition SD card. This part can be a bit confusing for some. Just a warning, creating a partition will erase the files on your SD card, which is why earlier in my video, I suggested creating a backup for your files. If you skip that part of the video and don't want to lose any of your files, I suggest you go back and back them up now. If prior to this video you did not have an Emu MMC, you do not have to create a partition for it. You can leave it at zero. If you already had an Emu MMC prior to installing Android, or you'd like to create one, you're going to want to create a partition for it. I have an Emu MMC, so I'm going to recreate the partition by dragging the red dot and dragging it until it says 29 full. Next, we're going to create an Android partition. It's recommended to do at least 16 gigs, but I have a higher storage SD card, so I'm going to create a 32 gig partition for Android. Once you have your partition set, we're going to select next step at the bottom right. A warning message will appear stating our files will be backed up and restored, but any partitions we've created will be wiped. This is why we created a backup on our computer, so we can go ahead and press start. Then it's going to ask us to confirm by pressing the power button. Now, we need to put the files that we downloaded at the beginning of our video onto our SD card. You can do this either by selecting SDUMS and mounting your switch to your PC, then dragging the files onto your switch, but this way is a bit too slow. So, I prefer removing my SD card and directly inserting it back into my PC. With this method, we can restore the files we lost back onto our SD card alongside the new files at a faster rate. So now we can flip our Nintendo Switch over and remove the SD card. And you'll see it says the SD card was removed and that it will reload after we reinsert it. So we could leave our Nintendo Switch on and transfer the files over to our SD card. Once our SD card is back into our computer, Depending on how big your files were, Hakate may restore all your original contents on your SD card. If not, you may just have a folder called bootloader on your SD card. If that's the case, then you're going to want to open up the files that you backed up and drag them into your SD card. Next, we're going to go into our downloads 
and open up those files that we downloaded at the beginning of our video. We're going to open up Ecosa, and we're going to highlight everything and drag and drop it into our SD card. Next, we're going to highlight over the open gaps folder, but we're not going to unzip it into our SD card. We're going to keep it in the zipped format and we're going to drag it on in to our SD card. So now your SD card should look similar to mine. Alright, now we can eject our SD card and put it back into our Nintendo Switch. Let's put our SD card back into our Switch. And you'll see Hecate will restart. From here, we will click on Tools, then we will select Partition SD Card. We will click on Flash Android at the bottom. A message will appear telling you this will flash kernel, DTB, and recovery if found. Do you want to continue? We're going to select continue. Once finished, it's going to ask us if we would like to reboot. Select continue, and this will take us to the Android installer. At the bottom right, we will swipe to allow modifications. Then we're going to select install. Then we're going to select storage at the bottom right. We're going to select our micro SD card as our storage type. This will show the two files we downloaded. We're going to select Lineage first, then swipe to confirm flash. This will begin the installation. You will get some errors, but we can ignore these as they are normal. Once finished, click on the back arrow. Now we can install open gaps. Again, swipe to confirm. This will begin the download, and now we just wait for it to finish. Once it's finished installing, we're going to select Reboot System. This will boot us up into Android, and just a heads up, the initial startup can take a really long time, especially depending on the quality of your SD card. We're officially at the welcome screen, so we're going to select Start. This is just your typical setup. It's going to ask us to select our Wi-Fi, but we're going to skip that for now. Next, it's going to ask us to set up the date and time, so set that up accordingly to your time zone, then select Next. Then we're going to select our Google services, so we're just going to scroll all the way to the bottom and hit Accept. If you want to create a pin or pattern, you can do that now, but for this tutorial, I'm going to skip this. Then we're going to hit Next, then Skip, and now we can start. We are officially on Android on our Nintendo Switch. This runs just like any other Android. You can access your home menu by swiping up from the bottom. You also have access to Google Play. You just need to create an account or you just need to sign in. To access your notifications, you can slide down on the top left. If you want to get back into Akate, we're going to hold the power button down and a side menu should appear that says power off, restart, and screenshot. Select Restart, and while it's restarting, press and hold down the minus volume button and wait for the Hikate logo to appear. Now, we should be back into Hikate. You can then access your Emunan or Sock Switch like normal again, but if you'd like to get back into Android, all we have to do is select More Configs, and then select the Switch Root Android 10 icon, and it should load back into Android. And now we have Android on our Nintendo Switch. If this video helped you guys out. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching my video, and take it easy.